the line element is one of those easy but essential elements. And you only realize how simple but important it is once it's not available. I was working recently on a video on oxygen and I wanted to make a line. And I found that oxygen, it's a page builder, doesn't have a dedicated element to a line. Well, eventually I figured out how to do it still, but it was just something that I spent some time on looking for my line. Many page builders call it dividers, separators. It can be just a line. And in Brizzy, it's just called line element. Within the page, you go to add elements in the sidebar and you will see the line element appears over here. This one is available in all versions of Brizzy. It's free. You'll never have to pay for drawing a line ever. Well, you never know. Click drag. What the line element essentially is, is a styling element, which means it has some graphic design function. It doesn't really bring content like text or an image onto the page, but it brings in design and mostly separation. When you want to separate things a little bit and give it definition, that's what you do with the line. In this case, I've dragged the line in here. And sometimes you just need to click again to get the handles. If I click outside and I click on the line, you will see the handles do not appear. Just click again. Handles appear. And with the handles, you can drag it to resize it to the width you want. If you want finer control, simply go to the options and click on the cog for settings and you will see the width over here. And you can set it to up 100% or you can set it in pixel. The reason why you will want to stick to percentage is that when you go to tablet and you go to mobile, it will comparatively adjust to 10% depending on those displays. But you can also go for pixels, up to you. I'm going to put it at 10%, so highlight that and type in 10. We'll go down to 10% and let's change the color. I've got white here. And I can also change it to a dashed line or a dotted line. I'm going to put it back on solid, and then I also have option here in the bottom right-hand corner to adjust the size. Click in that, and with the arrows on your keyboard, you can simply arrow up to three. And if you need something really thick for a thick divider, you can do that, and it may have an effect. That almost looks like a square. Let's take it down. I'll put it on one, see how that looks, and I like it at one. Let's give it some color. And then what I'll do, is align it over here. And you can align it to the right, to the left, to the middle, same thing, cycle through it. I'll put it on the left. And the reason for that is all my content is on the left, so it looks consistent. That is the line element. Very basic, and you have all the other usual suspects over here, like copy, delete, and you have your more settings here that will give you also paddings and margins if you want to apply absolute or fixed positioning. And then you have animation all the works here. Let's see how the line element plays out for tablet. Control Command minus to cycle one level down. And you still have the settings here to disable it, alignment, and then again, your width. So if you want to make it a little bit bigger, then you can do it here. But that's why I use percentage, because if I used pixels, I may have to reduce it here if it were in pixels. Then Control Command minus go down to our friend, Mr. Mobile. And here you can see what has happened in mobile is that we changed this design to center alignment. That doesn't look good. And luckily with the responsiveness, you can put it to the middle. Click on it, go to alignment and nicely align. Maybe you think that's a little bit too small. So we go to settings. Let's increase it to 25%. And there you go. That's the line element. What more can you ask for? Well, I can think of many things, but for the line element, I think good enough. Don't forget where it is. Value it for what it is, because once it's not there, you do miss it.